For months, Republican governors have sent busloads of illegal immigrants to sanctuary cities like New York, D.C., and Chicago with the message of, if you like them so much, they're yours, okay? Well, just in time for Hispanic Heritage Month, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis upped the game by sending two plane folds of immigrants to the East Coast elite's favorite vacation island, Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts. I personally think it's genius. But I wish that governors like Ron DeSantis and Greg Abbott would give Democratic governors and mayors more of a heads up, because then that would expose the hypocrisy of the Democrats, which is they don't want immigrants here either. What say you, panel? Angela Rye. First of all, um, I want to just dig deeper into the fact that these folks who are priding themselves on sending not just bus loads, but also now plane loads mm -hmm. of immigrants to um, and migrants to country or to, to states that are have not and are not expecting them. I thought they were sanctuary cities, though. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. When you haven't talked to these folks about what your plans are and you're dropping it, it is a political game for them. I agree. And how are you going to like tout the Bible, you're the like Bible beating Christian governors. I'm just curious about what kind of Christianity they're practicing. You want to talk about Democrat hypocrisy? I want to call the Republicans on bluff too. Yeah. What do you think, Michael? I'm, I'm with Angela. This is uh, well, now you with Angela. Oh, if, <laughs> you're don't allowed. fight you're no allowed. more. Huh? Fact, we have more in common. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know the feeling. <laughs> Shut up. No, we're what, how are we in a situation in our country when we're treating people? who want to come here, yeah. who think highly enough of America that they want to they risk their lives to come here, and we're treating them like, you know, props in some kind of political stunt. What I hate is the fact that a lot of these... A lot of these immigrants are being sent to these cities, and these are the same cities that ship out their homeless people to the outside county. So mm. a lot of these That's democratic fair. cities... That's yeah. fair. ...that are, uh, oh, we love people and we love people. Hey, homeless man, get your ass up. Like, That's like they, true. they deliberately hide people already. So a lot of these Democrats that are complaining about the Republicans are running something similar within their own, within yeah. their own counties. Yeah. Wouldn't y'all rather have them be shipped to sanctuary cities as opposed to being in states where they don't want them anyway, though? I, I just, I think that we have got to have some humanity and compassion about this conversation. What we know is that policy-wise, the country has failed immigration for a very right. long time. Immigration reform proposals don't do enough. I also think that in the backdrop of what's happened in Ukraine and the billions of dollars that this country has sent to Ukraine, why can't we use those same resources to figure out what to do with immigrant populations here? The difference is that most of them are of a browner hue. Mm -hmm. And the truth is that Ron DeSantis, uh, Greg Abbott, and others are terrified about what happens when there is a browning of their states. We they know this. That That's why they're shipping them out. I'm clear. Yeah. I'm well, very clear about that. So I don't think that, yeah. Knowing what we know about Texas, if you're giving people a free trip out of Texas, <laughs> that's a come up. Yeah. <laughs> I think the question's broader. One of the best books I've read recently is a book called One Billion Americans, which asks, asks the question, how many Americans do we want? Right? Look at this country, and he argues very, the guy, Matt Iglesias, who wrote it, argues very persuasively that this country would work really well with a billion people. Well, we're at 380 million, so we got, what, 620 mm -hmm. to go. Yeah. So I think we should, we should be welcoming people. We should be opening the borders. I, I don't understand why people Sounds are like so upset to, about people. Fucking. Right? <laughs> we should all... Charlemagne, you... Uh, that's a, a useful... Yes, that would be very useful. <laughs> and I'm sure you'll do your part. We but gotta, uh, <laughs> everybody got to go full. I've done cannon. my part. I have four children. Four daughters. Okay. Yeah, uh, four by daughters. the way, they're still sending buses with immigrants here to New York, as if that's supposed to scare New Yorkers. Right. Okay. Buses filled with immigrants in New York City are just called buses. Okay. 